This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by West Host, offering premium web hosting since 1998. Go to westhost.com slash TYT for 25% off your order. Tim Pawlenty, uh, often mentioned as a Republican candidate for the presidency coming out of Minnesota, governor of Minnesota. Why Tim Pawlenty is a more interesting candidate now in 2012 than 2008 is beyond me, but people keep talking about him like, hey, Tim Pawlenty, still nobody knows who he is and nobody knows why exactly he's interesting. He seems inoffensive in the sense that he's not Sarah Palin, he's not Michelle Bachman, and he's not Mike Pence, as we mentioned, Mike Pence, Sarah Palin with a penis. Oh no, Michelle Bachman with a penis. I'm sorry, I can't believe I made that mistake. Um, so Tim Pawlenty has a, a, a worker, a campaign aide, I guess the head of his campaign in Iowa, is that right? I think that's right. Head of his campaign in Iowa. It's a young guy, 24 year old uh, student, uh, former Alabama graduate who has hobnobbed significantly with, uh, a, he was at the, the Republican National Committee, uh, so he's hobnobbed with some, I think Republican National Convention, so he's hobnobbed with some significantly important figures in Republican politics and some significant Fox News figures. Well, he got totally wasted at a town in Iowa and tried to break into someone's house. He apparently thought it was someone else's house, but he was 10 miles away. And there's significant evidence that he drove incredibly drunk to that house, but police can't charge him with that. Uh, because they actually didn't see him drive. Let's take a look at this story from a, there he is. He doesn't look drunk. <laughs> he looks fine. See what the big deal is. Uh, here's the story from a local TV station in uh, Minneapolis. Pelini hired Ben Foster last September to run his exploratory campaign down in Iowa. He was actually the first on-the-ground staffer for any of the presidential hopefuls. Tonight, Pelini is standing by his staffer, and some wonder if that's loyalty or enabling. He's Tim Pawlenty's point man in Iowa, and even his name, Benjamin Limbaugh Foster, has conservative credentials. The 24-year-old political operative loves to rub shoulders with Republican heavyweights, like Michelle Bachman and Karl Rove, and just about any Fox News anchor he could squeeze into the picture. And I kept touching the wall, looking for something. I'm not but at 3 a.m. this morning, police arrested Foster while trying to squeeze into a stranger's home in Aikney, Iowa. The homeowners grabbed a gun and called 911. He was trying to get in the house. He's apparently puked all over my backyard. He says he's looking for somebody else, and he's wandering around the neighborhood. The guy's still trying to come in, but my husband had a gun on him. And then my husband must have realized that something's not right. Foster was allegedly drunk and lost. Police found his car nearby, but could only arrest him for public intoxication and trespassing. Foster was looking for a home 10 miles away, belonging to another Pawlenty supporter, Iowa State Rep Eric Helen, who himself was busted for drunk driving last year. Man, you, look, those two guys are such tools. Look at those guys. And then the, he got the hat. His name is Ben Limbaugh Foster. And he's got the hat and the cigar. And then the other guy is smiling like Jack Nicholson in the first Batman movie. Oh, my God. These guys. Tim Pawlenty has no chance. Anyway. All right. And by the way, his car was driving. He was drunk driving. Okay? He's got a two-week suspension. Uh, Tim Pawlenty probably ought to fire. And a West Host offers web hosting for 19 cents a day. You can't get cheaper. That's right. Ridiculous. And you can do web host transfers. Like, you got a website. Boom. Transfer. For free. You have 24-7 support. 60-day money-back guarantee. Well, then you literally can't lose. 25% off if you go to westhost.com slash TYT. You know what I think about that? I think West Host. West Host. <laughs>